Hey everybody, this is Bruce. I'm going to do a quick review of the Simki Skimmy Skimmy Skimmy. Let's go with Skimmy. Skimmy uh, 1123 digital watch. Now, this watch may look familiar to some of you because it is a very similar design as the Casio uh, 91W, but uh, it's not actually a copy, so I wouldn't call it a copy. There are quite a few uh, notable differences. First of all, before we get into the watch itself, let's take a look at the company. Here's the Amazon posting. You can see a bit of information about the watch there, which is where I bought mine too. And by the way, if you want to buy one yourself, look in the description of this video. You can find one of my Amazon affiliate links where it'll take you right to this watch and you can buy it and I'll get a small kickback for that. So first I tried to find their website just by searching DuckDuckGo, but I didn't really find it. All I found is a bunch of vendors who were selling the watch themselves. I didn't find the company website. So I just typed in skimmy or skimmy, <laughs> skimmy, skimmy, uh, dot com and, and here's their website. It actually looks like a pretty legit website. Looks like they're out of uh, China, near Shenzhen, near Hong Kong, in the, I guess, the southeast region. Uh, according to this, they were established in 2010. Let's see if we can find this watch just by doing a search. Yeah, here it is. Just by doing a search, I was able to find the watch. It looks exactly like the one that I have here. So um, at least, at least this is, you know, seem, seems like a pretty legitimate company. It's not just some kind of um, anonymously made watch sold somewhere. It's sold on Amazon. They have a decent website. You can find the product on their website. Yeah, it seems like it's pretty, pretty straightforward. And by the way, this watch actually isn't some kind of cheap knockoff. In fact, it's more expensive than the Casio 91W. Um, not by a lot. I mean, I think the Casio W91, you can get something, get some for something like 12 bucks. And I think this was like 15 or 16. So let's talk about the watch itself. So the watch itself obviously is in a nice uh, gold color and the gold color you see on the body of the watch is a little bit different than what you see on the band. The band is more of a brushed kind of dull gold whereas the body is a very reflective uh, gold color. The back has a silver kind of brushed stainless uh, finish. Let me start off by three things that I don't like so much about the watch but they're not that bad either. Uh, the first thing you'll notice and you only think maybe it's not ideal because I own a Casio W91 as well and that is these buttons stick out quite a bit more than they do in the Casio. Um, it's not a big deal, it never bothers me, but I do prefer the shorter uh, buttons of the Casio. That's number one. The second thing that's uh, slightly worse is it's thicker. Um, the Casio, I don't know how much different, I would say one, maybe two millimeters thinner the Casio is compared to this one. It's not a big deal when you wear it, it feels fine, no issue on your wrist, but, um, but it's true. It is a little bit thicker than the Casio, all right? The third thing and probably the worst thing is the viewing angle of the LCD screen is less than the Casio and it's, it's noticeably less. Let's zoom in here. So you can see it very clearly. I'm turning the watch, turning the watch, and now you can see it's getting hard to read. So, you know, it's it's not terrible, but I, I will say that sometimes I've been at my computer kind of typing away, and I, I turn my watch just a little bit, or I just look over, and I can't quite read it, and I have to turn it further. It's noticeable, but it's not that bad. It's definitely, you can work around it, but uh, you do need to kind of turn it to you to read it. I don't know how to describe it, and I don't know what the angle is, but it's it's less of a viewing angle than the W91. So that's the three things, my kind of complaints. But otherwise, it's it's actually very good. I, I, I use it, I've been using it almost every day for the past six weeks or so, and it's done the job just fine. As far as features, um, I'm not going to go through all the features. I don't really know what they all are, frankly, but uh, I can say it has Indiglo. So if you push the uh, button there, hang on, let me switch the light off, switch a light off so you can uh, take a look. And that works really well. It's hard to see in the camera, but that works really well. And the uh, W91 doesn't have that. It just has a small light on the side that barely illuminates the entire screen. The clock can be set to a 24 hour clock as well as the 12 hour clock. You have uh, the day and the date. However, to note, the date doesn't know, the, the watch doesn't know the month, so all the 
month, so to speak, or 31. So it just counts to 31 and then resets. So that means that uh, oftentimes at the end of the month, you have to, or at the beginning of the new month rather, which will be tomorrow, um, I'm, and this is a perfect example, I'm gonna have to reset the date because this will go to 31, but next month will be a uh, the 1st of October. It has an alarm clock, of course, and it has also another feature. It's kind of interesting. It uh, You can set it to uh, double beep every hour, which is kind of cool. I was kind of using it for a while, so it could kind of keep me on track. So every hour I'd realize, okay, another hour, you know, whatever. But you can also use it as a prank. You can throw it under your colleague's desk or something like that and um, <laughs> let, annoy them by the double beep every hour. But uh, by the way, the W91 also has these same uh, functions. What else does it do? Well, that's about it. It tells time, tells a date, tells a day, has an alarm. It's also water resistant. I haven't tested that. Uh, the 30 meter, I have had it in some light rain here and there and some moisture, but uh, nothing, I can't, I can't vouch that that's actually gonna work fully. This is how the watch goes on. So you put it on like that, put this part uh, against your wrist then you have a clasp here which goes over that ring or over that that rod and then this part closes down and clicks in and it's very good and that is adjustable by the way it's adjustable uh, the clasp mechanism once you get used to it seems to work very well uh, one other thing I wanted to talk about was the dimensions so on the SimKey website they do have some dimensions listed and I want to uh, test those dimensions so they claim the thickness of the watch is nine millimeters. I'm seeing a little bit more, 9.6. Maybe if I squeeze a little bit, I can get 9.4, 9.5, but it's a bit thicker than they claim. That's interesting. Uh, let's check the width. Now they say it's 33 millimeters wide. If you measure at the buttons, which is the total actual width, you actually get 37, which is a lot more. Um, but if you measure here at the body of the watch, you do get 33.3, .3, which is pretty darn close. Then they also claim the height is 36. I'm not really sure where to measure it, but if you measured at these like high points here, you'll get 37, which is a lot more, uh, one millimeter more anyway. If you measure it down here, you get a lot less, 34, well, two millimeters more. So I'm not really sure where they got the 36. Uh, I'm not getting 36 anywhere, so it seems to be a bit bigger. Um, the thickness seems to be a bit thicker than they said, and the width is about dead on. Finally, they mentioned the weight, so let's check that out. I'm getting 51 grams. They're claiming 56, maybe 52, so that's pretty close. Not too far off. Okay, well, that pretty much sums up my review. Uh, overall, I would give this watch a positive review. I would recommend buying it. It's a nice watch. Nothing wrong with it, and uh, I'll let you know how it goes in the future if I have any major issues. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this review up. Thanks for watching. If you do have any comments, please feel free to leave them in the, in the comment section below. All right, talk to you guys next time. Bye.